Example 3. y equals x times y prime minus x times cosine of x. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to put this given equation into the general form. And assuming that x isn't equal to 0, we can divide both the left and the right sides of this equation by x. And so we'll obtain the following. 1 over x times y equals y prime minus x times cosine of x. y prime minus 1 over x times y equals x times cosine of x. Now we have our equation written in the general form and we can make a substitution y equals u times v. We also remember that its derivative is found as u prime v plus v prime u, the derivative of a product of two functions. Now let's substitute these two expressions into our equation. So we'll go u prime v plus v prime u minus 1 over x times u times v equals x times cosine of x. We can factor out u on our left and so we'll have u prime v plus u times v prime minus 1 over x times v equals x times cosine of x. We're choosing the v function such that the expression within these brackets equals 0. And that's our next equation to solve. So we have v prime minus 1 over x times v equals 0. dv over dx equals v over x. dv over v equals dx over x. ln v equals ln of x plus the constant, or we can write the logarithm of a constant. ln v equals ln of x times the constant, and then finally v equals x times the constant. So this is our v function, x multiplied by the constant, c sub 1. To find the u function, we're going to return to the previously discussed equation over here, which, since this sum right here equals 0, is now of the following form. u prime v equals x times cosine of x. I don't think we're going to need these any longer. Okay. So I'll just move our equation over here. So we have u prime v equals x times cosine of x. Now, we already have an expression for the v function, so we can simply substitute it into this equation. And therefore we'll go u prime equals 1 over v times x times cosine of x. u prime equals 1 over x times the constant c sub 1 times x times cosine of x. u prime equals 1 over c sub 1 times cosine of x, and then we'll integrate this expression in order to obtain an expression for the u function. So u equals the integral of 1 over c sub 1 times cosine of x dx, which is equal to 1 over c sub 1 times sine of x plus another constant, c sub 2. So, our u function 
is equal to 1 over c sub 1 times sine of x plus another constant, c sub 2. And the only thing left for us to do is simply to multiply these u and v functions in order to return to the y function. So y equals u times v, or should I write this a little bit lower? y equals u times v, which is equal to 1 over c sub 1 times sine of x plus c sub 2 times x times c sub 1. And we can multiply the expression within these brackets by c sub 1 and have sine of x plus c sub 1 times c sub 2 times x. Now we can denote this constant over here as c. And so our final answer would be x times sine of x plus x times the constant.